Всем привет! Today I want to show you a set of tools for working with revisions in Autodesk Revit. There are three tools. Create sheet revision stamps, hide revision clouds on multiple views, and sheet revision history. The last one is the most powerful of these three, because it will create you an Excel with overview of all of your revisions. It's gonna look something like this right here. And also, I want to show you in generally how I work with revisions, and maybe you want to add some of it to your own workflow. Stay tuned if you want to see more. So, here's a file with a bunch of revision clouds. Firstly, let me show you briefly how I use them. Let's go to View tab and click on Revisions. You can see that I prepared a lot of revisions already. So, here are the revisions that indicate some changes. I named them Cloud Revision 1, 2, 3 and so on. And then right after them, there is this Issue Index 01. This is our revision stamp. If you look into revision schedule in my title block, you can see that I have four issued indexes in the past and there are five active clouds on plan. You can see them right here. Let's say we want to export the current state of this maze. First, I need to create issue index for active clouds. I'm going to use parameter index and I'm going to put for all of them 05. Then I go to EF tools tab. In revisions pull down menu, I select the first tool, create sheet revision stamps. First, we need to select our sheets. Here I can filter them down if I want to, but in my case it's unnecessary. I'll select all of them. Then the date I will leave as it is, and here I'm gonna change to issue index, and don't forget your spaces. And then we're gonna choose parameter index, and click on create revisions. On second screen it gave me this dialog box saying revision issue index 05, add it to the sheet, and then the sheet number. I'm gonna close it. And you can see that it added it here. Obviously, you can use different parameters as well. For example, for one of the projects, we're using sheet number because it contains a lot of information in it. As you can see, it added here the whole sheet number, which contains a lot of information, including the index, which is this last number here. But this is up to you. I'll go back. I'll continue with the simpler issue index 05. Now let's imagine that we have exported our plans and we want to hide all the clouds. First of all, I think you all already know that if you hide some elements in your primary view, it doesn't mean that they will be hidden in your dependent view. So let's go to EF tools tab and the revisions pull down menu, we're going to select hide revision clouds. Before running it, you can select views in your project browser or otherwise you can select from this dialog box. I'm gonna type mains and select these two views, they're right here. I click on select running the script and it gives me this dialog box on the second screen where it says that it's hiding clouds on certain views and it also created a few new revision cloud groups. It means that later on we can go and unhide one of the groups. In this case I can unhide the same group and see all of the clouds that I've hidden before. In this case I'm gonna go back. As you can see the script not only hidden in the primary view but also in all of its dependent views. So you don't have to go through all of the views or select all of them at once. And now if I go to the main sheet, you can see that here all we have is just issue indexes saying at which date we have exported these plans. Now we can create sheet revision history. Before I go any further, I need to remind you once more that this will work if you hide your previous revisions instead of deleting them. You should always keep your old revisions hidden. We can select some sheets in our project browser and run the script or we just go to EF tools tab, revisions and click on sheet revision history. And here we can select our sheets, I'll select the main one and two of those. And now we can click select sheets. Once we select one or multiple sheets and run the script, it will ask us if we want to include primary and dependent views with their respective sheets. This can be useful if your view is split into multiple parts and placed on different sheets, but you want to combine it in a single Excel report. I'll click yes to this to show you what it does. So it will give us this dialog box where it will just print the data if you want to quickly glance what's going on. This is one sheet and all the clouds, and the second sheet and the third one. And as you saw, it also opened us the folder where it placed a new Excel. If we open this Excel, you can see that we have worksheet for each sheet that we have selected. And then here we can see all of our revisions. And here you can see that there is duplicate revision. This is because this one came from one of the pendant sheet and this one came from the other. This is because we clicked on yes in the dialog box. In my case, I have the same name of them, so it doesn't tell us much. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Leave a like if you found this video valuable. 
Also, I have a page on Patreon if you want to support the development of EF tools. Link will be in the description of this video. Have a good one. Goodbye.